Welcome to the biggest Fortnite update ever. Now on the surface, it may look like just building his back, but there is so much more. Let's jump into it. Now, first and foremost, as we usually do, let's take a look at the map. It doesn't look like anything's changed. You will notice these uh, red and blue lines. They've always been there, but the blue is the resistance, which is us and the seven. And then the red areas is gonna be the IO, which is gonna be, of course, the bad guys. So yeah, nothing's changed on the map really, but uh, there's enough changes to kind of uh, make up for that. The first major one that kind of changes Fortnite forever is the building versus no building mode and the fact that building is officially back. I am in a normal mode, no uh, arena, and you can see I got the builds available. And let's go ahead and land here quick. Oh, this guy's gonna shoot himself out of the cannon. What the heck did you just do, dude? Somebody's landing on me? Oh, come on. Why are y'all doing this? I just hit him up a little bit, both of them. Very interesting, very, very interesting. So yeah, building is officially back. If you missed building, you're gonna be super happy to hear it. If you did miss building, that's fine because they're keeping the no building mode in Fortnite. Now that's actually just absolutely massive that they did that. I think what they did was kind of did this test, made everyone do no building, and then from there kind of uh, gauged what they were going to do. And the fact that they kept the game mode in the game means that a lot of people enjoyed no building. I think we all have friends that will say that they even prefer the no building mode over the building mode. The thing here is that I feel like a big part of Fortnite is building. It's what makes Fortnite Fortnite. But I will say this game is a ton of fun without building too. So I get it. I get both sides of the argument and I'm glad that we now have two modes, separate modes where you can enjoy whatever game mode you like. Now, does that have any implications for competitive moving forward? Like, are we gonna see uh, no building tournaments more and more often? Are they gonna turn their attention away from building? because people love no building so much. Nobody knows, but anything is possible. So keep your head on a swivel and keep looking around because uh, we might be seeing a lot of changes in Fortnite soon. What is this over here? This guy's running at me. Oh, where are you going, bud? Oh, yeah. There is a tank shooting at me. Interesting. Okay. We're just gonna dip on out of here. Where are you going, tank buddy? Is he? Oh, he's really rolling up that hill, huh? Sorry, I'm gonna have to do this to you. Gonna hop in the tank? Ooh, come on, shoot me. Oh, game over. What's well, nice to know that tanks were previously in competitive playlists like arena and tournaments, but they're no longer. They've been removed from competitive. So you can still play them in these game modes, but not in competitive. Also removed from competitive is gonna be these cow catchers. All right, the ones that you should throw on vehicles. Well, if you say have a build, let's pretend this is my enemy's build, and you throw one right here. <laughs> it breaks it and they can't build here. So they removed from competitive. If you're playing just normal game mode like me right now, definitely use them to your advantage because they are absolutely broken. Okay, let's hit the scanner here one more time. Where is this guy? Oh, this guy's uh, chilling over here. He's gonna go out the door. Oh, where's he flying to? Is he flying to the tank? Oh, he's going right down here. Oh, he dipping. Oh, he dipping, dipping. He fell all the way down to the water. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's in here. Okay, I'm gonna chase him. My man's struggling. <laughs> the builds were not treating him well. Now, one other thing that they nerfed is the combat SMG, okay? I know they look similar, but this is the Stinger SMG. That's the combat SMG. The combat SMG, even a gray one, used to be better than the Gold Stinger until this new update, which kind of reduced both their damage to players and builds. But mostly, the big thing is it reduced the headshot damage this thing does here, the combat SMG, to players. This kind of even the playing field. I don't know which one's better right now because I haven't really tested it all that much, but just know that the combat SMG has has been nerfed. Go ahead and heal up real quick. I need to get some mats. I'm, I'm kind of forgetting that I should be getting mats. It's nice to have them back though. Like me being, you know, a tryhard, I, I love builds. They're, they're fun. They're great. It makes Fortnite Fortnite to me and I absolutely love it. But I can see the other flip side, right? Like no building is fun because you don't have to dedicate as much time to the game. It's almost a completely different game. You have to use a different mindset. This guy's looking it right now. Right into my trap. Gunner over here. Yo, Gunner, I'm gonna have to finish the job over here, buddy. Oh, please don't ram me. Thank you. Easy elimination. Easy. Okay, I'm gonna throw the cow catch down. I'm not gonna pick up the Gunner Mythic SMG. I've explained this a lot in the past before, but it's just not as good. It has a lot of recoil and it makes it really hard to use it. 
Before you guys watch it, I'll go pick it up or else somebody's gonna complain. There we go, okay. What's that noise I just heard? Huh, weird. Yeah, I'm hearing like whale noises almost. I know a lot of people are speculating that the IO has kind of locked up Clombo. So maybe we're gonna see Clombo back. I'm rooting for you, Clombo, all right? Anything I gotta do to rescue you, I will do. I will go to the depths of the earth and back to save my boy Clombo. Butter cake. I love you, butter cake. Okay, I am damn bad with the health right now. Can I open the vault in time? I'm a little scared. Come on, open the vault. I'm gonna go ahead and check this chest real quick, just in case. Please, please, please. Ooh, splashes, yes. Saving my life, lifesaver. Okay, let's open up the vault. You guys, we do have two new weapons in the game, and I wanna see if they're uh, in the area. Got a gold shotgun, though. Hey, yo, lots of great loot. Ooh, ooh, no, not here. Still not here, okay. Very, very interesting. I feel like I've opened a lot of chests, still haven't found the new weapons. And what are those new weapons, you might be asking? Well, we got the uh, Mark Seven, which everybody knows, the one where you can go first person. And then you have the combat that AR, which has been changed quite a bit. We're gonna have to vote between the two, for which one we wanna keep in the game. And I don't want you to vote yet until you see the difference between the two weapons, because it's massive. And I'm telling you, a lot of you right away when I say that, boom, you're gonna wanna vote the uh, Mark Seven, okay? I know, I get it, I love the Mark Seven too, but trust me when I say the combat AR is so different, you're gonna wanna give it a shot. First, we're going to have to find somebody with it. Look at all the builds. Oh my gosh, sweats are back. I will say probably if you're going to be playing this uh, building mode, you're going to run into a lot more sweaty people. They've been waiting, all right? They've been waiting to play this game mode ever since building got taken away. And they're probably going to be ruthless. I'm kind of describing myself. Yeah, okay, I hear some noise in town here. What is this over here? Oh, that's a ranger. Still haven't seen any of the new weapons, interestingly enough. But while I keep on searching here, what do you guys prefer to see my content? Would you like to see me do challenges? Challenges in building or no building modes? Let me know in the comments. I think it's a very, very interesting question. I think just like right off the top of my head, I'd want to do them in building modes, but I am totally down to hear what you guys have to say. This guy is gonna try to dip. I blew up it, but I was able to get away. I think I spoke a little too soon. He was not able to get away. This guy's really going in, huh? Oh my gosh. Ride that thing. Yo, Thanos, what's good? Thanos, I've been waiting for this moment, bro. Thanos, I've been waiting. Oh, he has a Mark 7. Perfect. Okay, so Mark 7, a green Mark 7, now available in the game. Oh, I see another one right here, too. I mean, this gun is a classic, right? I can only imagine how this is going to feel in no building mode because it is such a spraying weapon. It is going to do less damage to opponents. So be mindful of that. And it's gonna do less damage to the builds too. So that's one of the new weapons introduced. And now we just gotta find the other one, the combat AR, which from what I've seen actually might be the one that gets my vote, believe it or not. And I'm thinking it might get your vote too. So let's go ahead and find one and check it out. But I just wanna kinda circle back and close the loop on something I was talking about. You might be asking why? Why, why, why is this the biggest Fortnite update ever? Well, Fortnite being such an amazing game and building being such an incredible mechanic, the fact that there's a building and no building mode shows that there's like a split in what the community prefers. So this could be the end of building for tournaments or it could be the start of something even more. Now I'm curious what you guys think, because anything's possible. What you doing, buddy? Come on. What you doing, bud? Oh, I just pieced him up like that. I, I actually just pieced him up like that. His feelings must be mega hurt. Mega, mega hurt. Hey, did someone just... <gasps> well, luckily I could build. That would have been bad otherwise. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see more and more no building competitive tournaments. I mean, me and Noah won the first no building tournament ever. We got first place out of 25,000 teams. So I wouldn't mind that. But the building mechanic is so unique, so incredible. It would be sad to see it kind of slowly wither away. Will Fortnite let that happen? I don't know. But anything is possible. It depends on what you guys, the people, want to see. Can I find a combat AR, please? I haven't really even got to shoot this Mark 7 either. Take a launch pad. I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody in the uh, top five here is going to have it. We can check it out. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you guys seen that? The Mark 7 is insane. So the fact that I'm telling you that the combat SMG might be even more crazy, is kind of wild. This isn't even the guy, is it? One down. This dude shooting anvil rocket launchers at me. Very interesting. I don't appreciate that much though. 
20 on him. These SMGs are nuts, by the way. I just keep him up. Shot him into toes. What do you have? He did not have it. Where are people with that weapon? Ooh, I'll take all this though. Oh, he did have it. The combat assault rifle. Look at it. Okay, so we've seen the Mark 7. It's insane. Combat assault rifle. The reason a lot of people didn't like it before is because it had insane, insane amounts of recoil. Now I want you to really take a look at it, okay? No recoil. Zero recoil. I just wanted you to show. Look, I'm not moving my mouse. Look. Your recoil until you start spraying it more then it gets some recoil so it is a completely different weapon like seriously so massively different so i want you to really consider that before you vote just look at this look at the recoil there is no recoil this thing feels fantastic i'm gonna use it on the last player here build some builds and see how much damage it does do a little arc over here there you go All right okay so it definitely does damage i like that it isn't like tearing through builds Look at that. There's like no recoil, basically. And I think some people say it might do more damage the longer you shoot it. I don't know if that's completely true. I think Fortnite might have said that, but this is insane. Look, I'm gonna hold it down and not move my mouse at all. So I'm gonna show you guys the recoil. I'll start at the bottom of the tree. See, it starts going more and more, and that kind of peaks out, so it's real nice. Oh man, it feels good to build again. It really does. I love this. I love building. It's so fun, and I know everybody would love building if they could have time to practice, but it ain't like that sometimes, you know? And fair enough, you know? So that's why I like no building and the opportunity that presents. Oh, there's a guy right there. Ooh, 18. Okay, let me just see. Let me spray this out a little bit. Ooh, did 19 there. I don't know if he got closer or what it was. Can I win this with an anvil rocket launcher? Oh, where's the guy going? Are you hiding in a bush, bro? I'm gonna have to hit some rockets here, buddy. Oh, that one might. That was very close. Oh, come on. Will that anvil rocket hit? Will it hit? Oh, they turned around. Wait. Oh, let's go. A crown victory, too. You love to see it. Let me know your thoughts on the brand new update. Building versus no building. And are you going to be voting for the Mark 7 or the Combat Assault Rifle? Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. And don't forget to subscribe to the bell for more daily awesome videos.